Howdy and what's going on everybody, this is the White Tiger coming at you with a new version of Minecraft Modified and if you look down here we got 1.7.10 Minecraft with 93 mods loaded so far and it's pretty cool you actually see your little character on the title screen there and a little mob over there on the other side but yeah anyways uh, this is the I wouldn't even know what the hell to even how they even pronounce this para digim craft server I don't know it's something that uh, we came up with for our little mod pack server thingy so let's join up and see what's going on it's a brand new server brand new world and I'm about to find out what's up all right come on here we go uh, shh, dang that is loud 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 Oh, I also forgot to introduce my buddy uh, C Sheldon Six Nine on here. Uh, hey, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I completely forgot he was on here. I'm sitting here doing a video. I was like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to introduce my buddy uh, C Sheldon. Hey, uh, dude, do we? Do you mind if we just call you Chris on here? I mean, not like it really matters. I can always edit that out. <laughs> call me Tater Salad. Tater Salad. <laughs> Uh, there he is. No, nah, you can call me whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's see. So we're starting out in a cave, it looks like. And we got a uh, bucket, well, not bucket exactly, but cauldron installed, which is a form of forge and bucket together. And uh, we have essentials installed, so I've been told that we need these to these tools to start out with and maybe we'll see why in a little bit what the hell is that what the hell dude what the a big old huge bunny looking bug thing and a god dang Tyrannosaurus Rex dude go away and he died in one hit that was very anticlimactic oh, oh god no wonder Whoa, what the, what the hell is that? Whoa, 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 what the hell? A floating slime thingy, my bob, a jig. He's floating. He's, whoa. Okay. I'm gonna go kill this dude. Nah. Sounds like a goat or something. Another T-Rex. God almighty, what the hell kind of world have you gotten me into, Chris? God almighty. Tater salad. Mm -hmm. What did you do, man? This is pretty cool, though. I like it. All right, so what all kind of mods we got in here? I know you've been uh, talking about this pneumatic craft or pneumatic yes, craft or whatever. Pneumatic craft. All right, so show me some things on this right quick. I want to see what kind of stuff we got here. Oh yeah, taking inventory. That's a good idea. All right, achievement gate. Whoopee! Well, well, what I have found a little girl. Okay. Well, I'm going to cut out here for the moment and let you set up, and uh, we'll get back on here and, and get more to derping. All right, hold on. All right, and we're back. Uh, we did a little bit of cleanup work over here, but uh, let me just walk over here and see what we got going on with Mr. Chris here. So, it looks like you got a bunch of stuff set up here, some solar arrays and stuff. Uh, what the hell is this thing, programmer from... Pneumatic craft, according to Walia. Yep. Okay. Okay. So. That's kind of a little teaser. Oh, thing. what the? You know, did that door move? Wait. Attention. To, to get your. Did that door move? Yes, it does. No. -uh. Do it. Whoa! <laughs> dude, it just you walk up on it. Oh my, dude! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, and it, oh, it closes by itself. It even has a little hinge. Thing. Oh, dude, dude. That is so freaking cool. I don't care oh, who you are. I don't care who you are. That is just too freaking cool. Unbelievable. That, my friend, is the pneumatic craft mod. Heck yeah, we definitely got to learn more about this stuff. Heck yeah. Okay, I see some pipes over here, but that's okay. That's okay. So what's what's all this up for here? Uh, I see the little mine thing I started doing down here. I noticed you were doing something over here, but what, what exactly is this? Because I see these, these numbers and stuff, like... Hit a button and see. Hit a button. What do I just left click it or or right oh, click. right? Whoa, dude! 
A working <laughs> elevator. Oh my god, dude. Dude, this is go oh my god, this is gonna like so change everything. Oh my hey, god. You're, you're shooting a video, right? Oh my god, yes, I'm shooting right now. Check I'm this recording. Out. Huh? Hold on, let me come back down, I guess. Hold on. What you when got? you get back down here, yeah. stand where I'm standing, uh -huh. and then watch me go up the elevator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude. Oh, that is so freaking sweet. Oh, that is so sweet. It actually extends up and everything. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. Oh, yes. This is elevators done right in Minecraft. Oh, finally. Finally, he's done right. Well, I mean, not like the open blocks one. You know, I mean, it, it's okay. Don't get me wrong, but... This is just like real life cool type thing. I don't know, whatever. Uh, all the way up here to the third floor. Oh, it goes outside the mountain. Oh, okay, okay, cool. A little volcano way off in the distance. I went and found a, one of those roguelike dungeon things. A big old castle looking thing you can see over there. Yeah. Alright, anyways. Uh, I'm just showing Can you imagine an elevator to one of these floating islands? Oh, dude, we so gotta make one now. Oh, why did you have to give me that idea? We so gotta make one now. Okay, well, yeah, this, this is the other thing I wanted to show off to everybody. These uh, furnaces that got... Uh, it's a mod that's called 3D Furnaces. And check this out, alright? Um, put some charcoal in there. And you can sort of see it at the bottom here. Let me see if I can light it up a little bit better for everybody. Uh... But yeah, you can see the little coal pieces down at the bottom. And check this out, everybody. Watch this. You actually put the meat in there, and it actually cooks like right there in front of your eyes. That is so cool. I don't care who you are, man. Minecraft Hibachi Grill. <laughs> Look at that. The finished product just shows up on the top of the thing. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Can you. I thought you were supposed to be able to click on the top of these and take them out or something. Oh well. That's still cool though. Uh, I'm gonna cook up all this meat. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm derping out. Uh, anyways, but yeah. We ain't done much to the base yet because we just started, but we already added in like a bunch more mods to the place, so I'm not even gonna say, sit here in the video and explain what all mods we have in here or anything. You just have to look in the description below and check it out and see for yourself but damn dude that door for pneumatic craft is freaking cool dude I don't care who you are All right, I assume that this has something to do with everything too since it's part of pneumatic craft yup I was about to uh, throw together a small little ghetto presentation for the actual other part which is my real favorite part of this mod okay that sounds good what we got Little canister thing. These okay. are the compressors. Okay. Right. Go ahead and grab that and place it on the post. Uh, well, this thing? Right in front of it? And in front of Where the other thing? Yep. Like so? Okay. Charging station. Okay. Yeah, and you might be wondering, a charging station for what? Exactly. We are all wondering, a charging station for what, Chris? <laughs> that. This. Drone. Drone. What the frick is... The, yes, what have you ladies got here? and gentlemen, that is a drone. Okay. Popular quadcopter design. And it oh. actually works in my side. Okay, so shift... Uh, right click on it it looks like I guess and okay it's got a little gooey thing doesn't look like it's it is not much. ready yet okay alright well we'll just cut out here I suppose and uh, we'll come back as soon as we're All right. done alright place that uh, on that okay actually I'm, we won't cut out that. quite yet then <laughs> hold on alright this is the first time there. I've been actually doing a presentation for anyone so yeah Taking me a while to get uh, my ducks in a row, so to speak. Oh, it's all good. Uh, to heck with it. I'll just keep recording. I really don't. Uh, it's still all this stuff is just really freaking cool. But yeah, go ahead and place that upgrade in the charging station, and you will see it physically change. Right. We got the little pressure plate top on the on the top there. 
Wait, can you? Yeah, there it goes. Oh. I was about to say, because I couldn't see it. Oh, okay. All right, and now. then you take the drone, put okay. it in there, and charge it. Oh, okay, so... Whoops. Okay. I did something wrong. Okay, it's mad at me or something. It's making these weird-ass <laughs> noises, dude. I'm scared now. It's like gonna attack me or kill me or some shit. I just got all what my stuff. I don't know. Oh, what, did I break the thing or something? Yeah. Oh, God. the only sentient life that we've had in so far. <laughs> that was actually a really cool sound effect, though. <laughs> I couldn't hear it. Oh, well. And uh, we charged the drone. All right. These default um, compressors, they run on pretty much anything burnable. Oh, okay. So you can throw, like... You know, good old coal in there or something. Oh, okay. Word. Let me see if I can go grab some coal up right quick with our new automatic door. Man, who else can sit there and say they got automatic doors on their bases? <laughs> uh, whoever has a pneumatic craft, I suppose. <laughs> Man, I don't care. This is cool. This is awesome. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Uh, charcoals. And I hear... Some kind of monster of some sort. God, we got the Lycanites mobs back in here, uh, just like with monsters. Oh, really? so, oh yeah, so there's like freaking mobs everywhere, like tons of monsters. Like, I got killed earlier. Uh, a bunch of mobs surrounded me in the lake there. I got killed off, so I just made I a little go. damn right dirt bridge. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna put on hold, put the video on hold for sure, for real, and we'll be back in just a second. Alright, we're back, and we got a few more of these air compressors going on this charging station here, trying to figure out a way to actually get enough pressurized air into the thing to stabilize it and get it going. Uh, so what's going on here now? So basically, once you have uh, pressure going into the charging station, and you got your drone inside it, right. there's a little, when you get to the GUI of the charging station, you can actually open the inventory of the drone itself and add various upgrades to your flavor. For the drone itself. Oh, okay, yeah, the mm -hmm. uh, volume upgrade, the speed upgrade, and uh, security and make sure it don't blow itself up. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Very nice. Yep. All right. So you got enough pressure in it to run. Okay, and now what? Grab it out, and you come to the programming table here. Now, this is where things get a little interesting. Okay, okay. Which is probably why I'm going to let you do this. Oh. oh, you bastard. Oh. Okay, let's see here. So, I got the drone. I'm in the GUI. I assume I put it up here in this little red thing of the programmer. Yep, okay. you put it up in the programmer. Okay, Wait, so... can you see what I'm can you see what I'm doing? Hold on. No, not exactly. Uh like if I see you taking the drone out like that, like you could see that, you know, me taking it in and out and whatever, but I won't be able to see But you anything. can't see what I'm doing. No. No. Okay. Well I'll walk you through it then. Okay. That sounds you see the puzzle pieces on your right? Uh yeah, yeah. Those are how you control the drone. And the first one is obviously a start so drag a start piece up top. Oh, okay, wait a minute, this is the help area. Okay, so, uh, whoops. Uh, okay, so, f start. Okay. Uh, okay. Alright, start. Okay, and then... All right. oh. Then you're gonna want the other ones. There are other puzzle pieces that correspond to a specific action that you want the drone to do, whether it be taking something out of an inventory, putting something in, picking up items in the world, placing items in the world, digging or attacking. Oh yes, the last page here. Uh, uh, import from inventory, okay, okay. And then attacking right here, entity attack, okay. Item filler. Oh, text! You can actually put text... No, uh That That isn't for that. That is to just tell it what entity to attack, what entity to not attack. Oh, it's, okay. that, that is currently only used for the attack function. Oh. Well, that's still kind of well. Weird. Okay. And there was something else that it, it, you added that to to tell it something. I can't remember. Okay. But well, anyway, so we got a starting point. Now we gotta do an area. I assume. Put a dig. You you put a dig. Okay. Put a dig first. Okay. Let me go find that dig piece. Okay. 
Uh -huh. Drag it over. I assume you connect it like a puzzle. Okay. So. Yep. Now, now that you have that, you get the idea of how to put them together. You can right-click each puzzle piece for different things, but to get coordinates for the area piece, to actually make it do what you want it to do, you're going to want to go and grab two of, two of the GPS tools here. Oh yeah, I remember you telling me about that. Okay, so you got, you're got you in creative mode, so you got them pre-made. I I'm, I'm keep myself in survival just because I try to yeah. build everything up, but... Uh, yeah, you're gonna right. get... Also, I didn't know if the viewers knew if I was in creative or not. Yes, I am in creative. I primarily play in creative when I'm messing with mods and stuff. Which is perfectly fine. You're the mod builder and the structure builder on the server here. I'm just a survivalist and YouTuber just trying to play and do stupid stuff. So, Okay, so now what? The GPS units do what now? Alright, you take one of them, mm -hmm. right-click on a block. Alright, uh, let's do this one here. Okay, right-click. Whoops, I fell into drink. Okay, now right click there. Okay, now left click, uh, I guess over here or something like that. Uh, left click there, doink. Well, no. Okay, yeah, because you got to use the second GPS tool, right? Okay. Yep. Okay, so use the second GPS tool. Okay, so both tools. Now are, that should be your uh, area. Okay. Now you will come back to the programming table. Okay. And you will select the area piece. Oh, I can see it, what you've done. Okay. Okay, that's You good. bring the area piece to the top right-hand corner of the dig piece. Wait a minute, I gotta find... Oh, there's the area piece, okay. To the top right-hand corner of the dig piece, okay. And then then right-click on the area. Right-click on area. Select GPS 1, I assume. Yep. Alright. And then there's go to that. the other one and select the other GPS. I hit escape to get back out to this part of the grid, mm -hmm. I assume. Okay. Okay, that one. Okay. And the area type filled frame wall sphere. Oh, cool. Golly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do let's do some let's do some walls. Just trish grands, you know. All right. And when you're done with that, hit the button that says show area so I can see if it shows up for other players. I did. Uh, well, it shows the the points when you actually uh, hover your mouse over the area. Uh, no, it did not. Import. It'll, it'll show up. Sometimes it'll show up, sometimes it won't. It's weird. But once you have the area, uh -huh. you're probably going to want to switch to creative because I don't have the puzzle pieces, but you will hit export program. Okay. Oh, export. Requires yep. one programming. Uh, oh, you actually got to you gotta actually mm -hmm. do create. You gotta design these puzzle pieces. That's some. Ah, well, why don't you? Since you're in creative, uh, can't you just like go ahead and find all these pieces? I can just export it. Okay, yeah, there you go. You got it programmed, right? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah, so you can just export it since you're in creative. There you go. Okay. All right, now pick it up and place it anywhere, and it should go to work. Okay. Wow. And just any old where. And don't right click to place it? Anyway. Well, maybe not in the water, but... Well, yeah, well I think water. I upgraded that one. Because well, normally water destroys them, but the uh, security upgrade actually makes these water. Okay, well, I'm going to put it over here. Okay, well, there it goes. It took off. Okay, well, let's... Fly, my pretty. Let's fly. Oh, not fly, but, but watch it fly and watch it do its thing. Oh, cool! Oh, that is super sweet. Oh, dude, it's going to, like... Dig out this whole area. It's also you can have it Whoa. dig with tools like a diamond pickaxe or something like that. Yeah, but what happened to all the water? All of a sudden, like half the water is gone now, dude. I don't know, dude. This thing's more powerful than I thought. I thought it was just a little, you know, cute little thing to. Dude, this is interesting as crap. It really is. I'm I'm impressed. I'm thor I'm thoroughly impressed. Whoever made this mod, the mod author of Pneumaticraft, I'm gonna like go to him and like write an email him or her and be like, yo, thanks, <laughs> appreciate it. By the way, here's the vid that we did. Hope you like it. Yeah, no doubt. Well, no, uh, I don't want to show him that because then, uh, yeah, then he'll think I'm uh, ridiculous or something. And he'll be like, shut up, leave me alone. <laughs>
No, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I just think this is really cool. Uh, new 1.7.10 uh, server with a whole crap ton of mods on it, and this pneumatic stuff, pneumatic craft stuff is just yeah. awesome. I don't care who you are. Well, I guess that's going to be it for right now. There's going to be a lot more derping around and a lot more uh, getting into mods and stuff, but we're just going to kind of cu cut this episode a little short just because we really don't have anything to work with because we don't know enough about all these mods that we threw in here. So uh, yep. we're going to go learn some more stuff, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. All right. Take it easy, y'all. Bye, guys. <laughs> Later.